Today is Thursday, August the 4th, 2022. Just as a quick recap, I have challenged myself to trade my options account up from $100,000 to $200,000 using only beginner level strategies. I've given myself three years to do it. The two strategies that I'm using are selling cash secured puts and covered calls. Yesterday I put a trade on to sell 75 dish 14 and a half puts and I said that when there was just pennies left in the trade, I would get out of the trade and move on to something new. And that's what happened today. So just looking at my transactions, it tells a story of what happened. So today I was able to buy back those 75 contracts for a penny each. And I established a new position in DISH at the 16 and a half strike, this time for expiry Friday, August the 12th, Friday of next week. So interestingly, I had to do two transactions in order to get into the position. So I was only intending on selling 66 contracts because of the higher strike price. I couldn't get 75. I had to lower the amount of contracts that I was trying to sell. I was hoping I'd be able to collect 13 cents per contract on all 66. But what happened was I put the order in to sell 66 of the 16 and a half puts at 13 cents. And I immediately got filled on 56 contracts. The other 10 just sat there, not filled, not filled. More time was passing. And I thought that I wanted to just get into the trade, make sure that I got as much premium as I could. So I went ahead and changed my order. I lowered the amount of premium that I was trying to collect on the remaining 10 down from 13 cents to 12 cents and I was able to get filled. So I am in a short position on 66 contracts total. It's just that I was not able to collect 13 cents on all 66. Nevertheless, to look at the effect that that had on my cash balance, so between buying back the puts that expire tomorrow and putting on a new trade on puts that expire next week, the net result was my balance got boosted by $728. So that puts my total cash at 110,841. So I have now a new position in DISH 16 and a half puts expiring Friday of next week, 66 contracts were sold. Just a quick note about this style of trading. So far it's been successful. Of course these are high probability trades in the first place but just one observation is that trading this way is incredibly boring. There is nothing interesting about this whatsoever. It involves really just doing a scan. The tool that I use to do the scanning is the Born to Sell website. Scanning is pretty quick. All my settings are already programmed into it. So I really just have to go to the tab uh, on the website where I can do a search based on my available capital and the amount of premium that I'm looking to collect. I get the results and then I just go down the results and see what looks good. I just have to check uh, to make sure that there's no impending doom for any of those stocks or any potential surprises that could be foreseen. And once I identify a trade that feels good, I just go and take the trade. And that's pretty much it. There's very little management that needs to be done. And if all goes well, the position never really gets challenged, such as the position that I was able to close out today. And you just close out the trade and you, and you move on to something else. So no excitement, no adrenaline rush. And since this is so boring, I can actually see why probably a lot of beginning options traders just don't do it. Uh, there's nothing interesting about it. And if you're looking for some excitement, probably buying options is the way to go. The problem there is most of the time you end up losing money. So the potential excitement that you have is tempered by the fact that you're probably losing money. Whereas the only excitement I could see on the horizon for this trading style is if a position goes against me, well, there'll be a lot of excitement in terms of trying to manage it 
and thinking about what to do if the trade goes against me significantly. But other than that, I guess I'm still satisfied with the lack of excitement of what I'm doing because the goal isn't really to get excited about trading, it's just to double my account from 100,000 to 200,000. So if I have to be bored to do it, then that's okay. If there's any reason I do have to manage this position, I'll come back and make an update video. Otherwise, once again, I'll close it out when there's just pennies left in it and move on to something new. When that happens, I will make a video with what the new trade is.